Good morning students. We have algebraic equations. We were doing that in continuation with this chapter in your 8th class. It is simple equations. It is the same thing. So we were uh, doing this and we did some statement questions. Today we will be solving some more difficult equations and also difficult statement questions forming equations. Understand now we have a sum here. 7m plus 19 upon 2 is equal to 13. 7m plus 19 upon 2 is equal to 13. As I had mentioned to you, on the left hand side, we keep the algebraic expressions, uh, the variables, and on the right hand side, we take the constants. So 7m is equal to 13. Bring this plus 19 upon 2, this side become minus 19 upon 2. So 7m is equal to remove the LCM. Put upon 1, LCM is 2. Now 2 into 13 is 26 minus 19. I think this is clear to you. I have already explained so many times. 2 divided by 1 is 2. 2 into 13, 26. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 into 19, 19. So we have 7m is equal to 26 minus 19. We get 7 upon 2. Correct? So m is equal to m is equal to 7 upon 2 divided by 7 divided by 7 upon 7 or divided by 7. So m is equal to 7 upon 2. Change the division to multiplication. It becomes 1 upon 7. Change the division to multiplication. We make a reciprocal of the number. 7, 7 cancelled. m is equal to 1 upon 2. Variables keep it aside. Constants bring it aside. The fractions out here, take out LCM. LCM we got 2. 2 divided by 1 is 2. 2 into 13, 26. 2 divided by 2, we get 1. 1 into 19, 19. Subtracting 26 from 19, we get 7 upon 2. So 7M is equal to 7 upon 2. So M is equal to 7 upon 2. <coughs> here M is multiplied by 7. When we bring it the other side of the equal to sign, it becomes divided by, so divided by 7. So m is equal to 7 upon 2. Change the division to multiplication. It becomes 1 upon 7. When we change the division to multiplication, we make the reciprocal of the number after the division sign. That becomes into 1 upon 7. 7, 7 cancel. m is 1 upon 2. Next question. We have the 6z plus 10 is equal to minus 2. 6z plus 10 is equal to minus 2. So 6z is equal to minus 2. Bring the plus 10, the set becomes minus 10. 6z is equal to minus 12 because minus 2 and minus 10 is minus 12. When they are same sign, we will add and put the sign which is there common both. Minus 12. So z is equal to minus 12 upon 6 because we are dividing here. It's multiplied. Bring it this side become divided by. Z is equal to minus 2. Next question. 2x plus 4 is equal to 2x plus 4 is equal to 12. Now in this case, we open the bracket. When we open the bracket, you have to multiply 2 with x and 2 with 4 also. So 2 into x gives us 2x plus 2 into 4 gives us 8 is equal to 12. Now keep the variables aside, the constant aside. So 2x is equal to 12 plus 8 bringing this become minus 8. 2x is equal to 4, 12 minus 8 is 4. So x is equal to 4 upon 2, x is equal to 2. I hope it's clear. So here we are solving equations now. Little more difficult ones now I'll do. The next one. Understand the next one. Four bracket. Four plus five. P minus one. Is equal to 34. Four plus 5 bracket P minus 1 is equal to 34. Now don't make a mistake of adding here. Don't do that. 
First, we open the bracket. Write this number as it is, 4 as it is. Plus, now open the bracket. 5 into P is 5P. Minus 5 into 1 is 5. When we open the bracket, we multiply 5 with P and 5 with minus 1 also. To open the bracket. This will be written as it is. Don't make a mistake of adding out here. Your whole sum will be wrong. Always remember, first we have to open the bracket. So this number written as it is, open the bracket, is equal to 34. Now keep the variable on the left hand side, all the numbers on the right hand side. So 5p is equal to 34 will remain as it is. It is already on the right hand side. Let it be. Now bring plus 4 from the left hand side to the right hand side becomes minus 4. Bring minus 5 from the left hand side to the right hand side becomes plus 5. So 5p is equal to 34 minus 4 is 30. 30 plus 5 is 35. 34 minus 4, 30. 30 plus 5, 35. So P is equal to 35 upon 5. P is equal to 7. 5, 7 is 35. Right? Next one. 16 is equal to 4 plus 3 bracket x plus 2. 16 is equal to 4 plus 3 bracket x plus 2. Again, I told you open the bracket first. Don't do any addition, subtraction, etc. So 16 is equal to 4 plus 3 into x is 3x plus 3 to the 6. X term, you can keep it on the left hand side, all the numbers on the right hand side. So plus 3x, bring it this side because minus 3x is equal to 4 plus 6 minus 16. I hope it's clear. The variable, bring it on the left hand side. So plus 3x becomes minus 3x. 4 is the number constant is already on the right hand side. Let it be as it is. Plus 6 is on the right hand side. Let it be as it is. 16 is on the left hand side. Bring it to the right hand side becomes minus 16. So minus 3x is equal to 6 plus 4 is 10 minus 16. Minus 3x is equal to minus 6. By minus 16 from 10, we get minus 6. So x is equal to minus 6 upon minus 3. x is equal to 2. x is equal to 2. Step by step, if you do your sum, you will not have a problem at all. Everything you follow correctly and your sum will be correct. Otherwise, you tend to make a mistake because of sign, etc. and the whole sum goes wrong. Next question. 16 plus 4 bracket 0 is equal to 16 plus 4 bracket m minus 6. 0 is equal to 16 plus 4 bracket m minus 6. Write the 0 as it is is equal to 16 as it is. Don't add a subtract. Open the bracket first. Write this number as it is. So 4 into m is 4m minus 4 6 are 24 plus into minus minus 4 6 are 24. Variables on the left hand side, numbers, constants on the right hand side. So plus 4 bring in the second minus 4m is equal to 16 as it is minus 24 as it is. 0 is there, no problem. Even if you write 0 or don't write 0, no problem. It's not a issue because 0 is there. So you can either bring it this side or leave it out also. No problem. So plus 4m, bring it to the left hand side because minus 4m. 16 is already on the right hand side because of the equal to sign. It's already on the right hand side. Let it be as it is. Minus 24 is on the right hand side. Let it be as it is. So minus 4m is equal to 16 minus 24 is minus 8. Minus 24 from 16 is minus 8. So m is equal to minus 8 upon minus 4. m is equal to 2. Minus signs cancel. 4 to the 8. m is equal to 2. So this is how we solve equations. Little more difficult question I have given shown you today. 
so that you understand. Now we come to the next part is statement questions now. Statement questions. I'm writing the question here so that you can understand it and do it. Take the first one. Find a number such that one fourth of a number is three more than seven. Find a number. Let us suppose the number is x. Let the number be x. Let the number be x. Find a number such that one fourth of a number. So one upon four x. One fourth of a number is three. Is three more than seven? So it is seven plus three. It is three more than seven. So one fourth x is equal to three more than seven. Seven plus three. So one upon four x is equal to seven plus three is ten. So one x is equal to ten into four. Cross multiply. I hope it's clear. So x is equal to ten for the forty. This is how we do a statement question. One fourth of a number is three more than seven. So one fourth of a number is three more than seven. Seven is there and three more. You can also write this as one fourth of one upon four one upon four x minus seven is equal to three. You can also do it this way. Your answer will be right. One upon four x minus seven. Is equal to three. When you bring the minus seven from the left hand side to the right hand side, it becomes plus seven, and we get the same answer. Next question. When I subtract 11 from twice a number, the result is 15. We did a few questions before also. When I subtract 11 from twice a number, let the number be x. Let the number be x. When I subtract 11 from twice the number, twice the number is 2x minus 11. Why I put 2x first? Because from twice the number, from will come first. From twice the number, we subtract 11 and we get the result is 15. So 2x is equal to 15 minus 11 because it's plus 11. 2x is equal to 26. So x is equal to 26 upon 2. X is equal to 13. So the number is 30. So when I subtract 11 from twice a number, twice a number, let the number be x, so twice a number, and I subtract 11, the result is 15. We got the equation, linear equation, we got the algebraic equation, 
Now keep the variables one side, constant one side and solve it. We get the solution. Next one. Yes, A scored twice as many runs as B. Together, their runs fell too short of a double century. Find each one's score. A scored twice as many runs as B. Let B's score be X. Suppose he made X runs, B. So A scored twice as many. So therefore A's score will be 2x because he scored twice as many of A's, A's uh, B's runs. A scored twice as many as B's runs. So if B scores x, A will be 2x. Together, that means together, that is x, B score plus A score. Together, their runs fell too short of a double century. Double century is 200 and 2 short minus 2. 2 short of a double century. So 3x, 2x plus x is 3x is equal to 198. So x is equal to 198 divided by 3. Dividing it we get x is equal to 3, 6 are 18, 3, 6 are 18. 66. So therefore b score is 66. So we can write down here b score is 66 runs and A score is 66 into 2 that is equal to 132 runs. So here we have got this. Let B score be X. A score twice as many so A score will be 2X. Together their runs so together that is B score plus A score fell short too short of a double century. Double century is 200 and 2 short, 2 short means minus 2. So 3x is equal to 198. So x is equal to 198 upon 3. x is 66. So that means b score is 66. And a score is 66 into 2. That is 132 runs. I hope it's clear. One more question. Yes, students. Now the last question. Lakshmi's father is 49 years old. He is 4 years older than 3 times L Lakshmi's age. Find Lakshmi's age. Let us suppose Lakshmi's age is X years. So the father's age will be is given out here. The father is 4 years older than 3 times Lakshmi, Lakshmi's age. So 3 times Lakshmi's age will be 3X and 4 years older 3X plus 4. So this is the father's age, 3x plus 4. Now, it's also mentioned out here, Lakshmi's father is 49 years old. And we have got Lakshmi's father's age, 3x plus 4. So 3x plus 4 is equal to 49. We have formed the equation out here, algebraic equation. This is how we form an equation from a statement. This is what I'm trying to explain to you. Statement question will be given. You have to form the correct equation. Only when you form the correct equation, you get the correct answer, correct solution. You cannot write anything as you wish. According to the question, they asked us find Lakshmi's age. We take it as X. We do not know Lakshmi's age. Then the father's age is mentioned out here. He is four years older than three times Lakshmi's age. 
3 tan plus 3 days will be 3x and 4 years older plus 4. Now it is not mentioned, the sum of the ages is not mentioned. Otherwise we would take in both the ages. It is mentioned Lakshmi's father's age is given 49. So we will take only Lakshmi's father's age. So 3x plus 4 is equal to 49. Because this is Lakshmi's father's age, this is Lakshmi's father's age, 49. Variables one side, constants one side. So 3x is equal to 49 plus 4 from the left hand side, bring it to the right hand side, we transpose the signs change, plus will become minus 4. 3x is equal to 49 minus 4 is 45. 3x is equal to 45, so x is equal to 45 upon 3. x is equal to 15, cancelling we get 15. So Lakshmi's age is 15 years. This is how we solve the students. Statement question that I've explained now to you. So many questions are given out here. You practice these questions, students. Copy all these questions in your copy. Do them and you can practice some more from your book. You can use your book and check and do the questions. I even today solved equations. More difficult linear equations, algebraic equations. I solved those in the beginning. Then I came to statement questions. So this chapter, sim, uh, algebraic equation or simple equation which are given in your book. In class 7 it is algebraic equation, in class 8 it is, in class 6 it is uh, algebraic equation, in class 7 it is simple equations. It is the same thing. So I have done from your 6th six, six class portion and done some more questions so that you understand this chapter. So that in 7th class you won't have a problem how to solve them. Practice this. Do a few more questions and see whether you are able to solve them by making your own equations. Thank you students. Have a great day. Thank you very much.